this is Gran, one of the cosplayers here in this new channel. And this is going to be our first video, so welcome to the channel. You can expect a lot of stuff from us, but to start off, here is a horn tutorial from me making my Gamzy horns. So I know a lot of people use clay or string even, but for this I'm going to start out with an aluminum slash tin foil base just to get the shape and everything down because with what I'm doing, which is paper mache, you're going to need a base. You can't just paper mache your horns on their own. So here you can see me, first off I used two pieces of um, aluminum foil, but I I was going to come up with a measurement for you, but I could not remember how long I made my horns. Anyways, I made them the length and the shape that I wanted them, and then I added more layers of aluminum foil on, which you will watch me do here. Um, what I'm doing right now, I am comparing each horn to the other horn so that they're perfectly equal because we wouldn't want two mismatched horns. I'd like them to be perfectly symmetrical as any, any person would. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what I'll be doing over here. I had around 42 to 46 layers of aluminum foil, but that was with like 20 something on each. So just to be clear that it wasn't like 40 on each horn. It will take up a fair amount of aluminum foil, but not too much. I still have plenty left for tons more horns. So yeah. I'd suggest using smaller pieces and wrapping around the parts where you would like thicker first and most, obviously, because you want them thicker. Oh, as you can see here, uh, the point of me making these horns are I'm redoing those tiny horns right there, and in while making these, I just realized that I could totally use these as Cronus or Aridin horns, the smaller horns, that is, which is great because it saves me the work. But yeah, that's basically all that's going to be going on for a little bit here. I'll make sure to skip a few places so that you're not just sitting here watching me do the exact same thing all the time. And I'm back. So what I'm about to do here is make sure that they look good on my head and they're to my likability, if that's a word that you'd use. <laughs> You're going to want to do this definitely because the first horns that I made were far too small. And so if I had checked previously, then I would have noticed that. But mistakes were made lessons learned, etc, etc. So once you get the base uh, done with the foil, you're going to want to coat it in masking tape. So once you get that, you will want to take your paper mache stuff, which is just glue and water mixture with newspaper. 
After that, you'll want to coat it in, I'd say at least two coats of white so that the newspaper print does not interfere with your horns and show through the yellow paint because the yellow is a lighter color. I would advise more than one layer of white because I only used one and you can see the newspaper print if you look really closely at the horns, but they're not that noticeable from a distance or even if someone's standing in front of you, no, they're not, not, they're not going to notice. All right, make sure you shake up your paint well so it isn't runny and it's all mixed up and nice and ready to go. Start, if you're going to do gradient horns like I did, you're going to want to paint them like you would Canon Trolls horns with just the striped colors at first and then you'll do the blending later on. Here I'm testing out brushes, so I would advise getting a larger brush to cover the area faster, but I am kind of lazy and I like I wanted them done quickly. Um, make sure the brush is soft rather than a harder brush because I feel like the paint is more, it's laid on easier and better with a softer brush. You just do that with the rest of the colors, and I will be back when there's something else to say. And I am back again. I had to move to the garage because my father came in and decided that he did not like me painting in my room. But he came in to give me my snazaroo, which came in right then while I was painting, which made me really happy. So yes, as you can see, I decided not to take this out of the video just so I can laugh at myself later on. I am frantically texting Tij, the other cosplayer here, if you did not know, and because <laughs> I did not realize that the Snazer would get here that fast. I told my parents two days ago that they should order me some Snazaroo, and I gave them like 12 bucks, and so I see the UPS guy come in, and I'm like, oh, that'd be great if that was my Snazaroo, and it was, and so my day has been made. <laughs> All right. Well, now that I'm in the garage, the lighting's a bit different, but it still works. So now you'll just want to start.
start off with your yellow. I decided to blend the orange and the red together before I did the yellow. But that's just personal preference. You can do whatever you'd like with your horns. I just thought that would be easier while I had the brush already dirty with red and orange. <laughs> So I would say that these horns only took maybe an hour to paint, that is, and an hour, hour and a half to make the base with the tin foil and aluminum foil. Then the paper mache took a lot longer, but I did do it at school, so I took two class periods. I did one layer on each the first day and then the second layer. I put two layers of paper mache. I did not add that before, but I put two layers of the newspaper around my horns to make them stiff and if they fall off my head, they're not going to break. They'll probably bounce. So if you need to touch up any of the paint, I have a little sponge brush with me over there that I dabbed in the red because a little bit of the red had chipped off while I was working and I did drop them on the floor in the garage so that was not smart <laughs> but they didn't break they just bounced a little bit so I guess that is a good advantage to these the weight of these imagine an empty fago bottle they're really really lightweight so I would definitely suggest these for larger horns yep they turned out great. I am satisfied with how they turned out, which is saying something because I can be pretty hard on myself sometimes. As I'm doing here, just touch up your horns whenever, whatever you would like to do with them, and that's about it for me telling you what to do. for watching the video and I hope you found it helpful to making your own horns whether they be Gamzee horns or any horns that you would like whether you are homestuck trash or any other kind of trash we're all trash let's just trash unite together anyways I hope you found it helpful and I hope that I didn't ramble on too much or at least you had fun watching the video so thank you and you should definitely subscribe because we are new on here and you can expect a lot more stuff, especially now that our cosplays are coming together.